Hi, Paddy Bergen here. I'm talking about mutual mindfulness. Different points from the book. So, as I begin to move the camera, you get a different point of view. So you see me from a different angle. But, there's also different information there. So now you can see the beautiful Henry Moore statue behind me. Well, actually, it's to my right-hand side. And now we go back this way. So you get a different perceptual position, a different view of me. Yeah. Where we started. Now... Another perspective which gives you different information, i.e. there's a big lawn here, Kenwood House. So, point is, have a look at something from a different perspective. Because it'll look different, you'll see things that you weren't able to see from the previous position and you get different information and in that different information could be a little gem that um, inspires you to create or to solve a problem it doesn't matter so just always get different perceptual positions and now watch this meow and back again ha ah, funny so it's a beautiful beautiful evening and temperature's just about right it's not cold it's not warm um, and everything is just amazingly green, bursting with life. It's like I think we're at the, I hate to use his phrase, but the third wave of nature. So although we're, I guess we're in summer, all the flowers have had their go and now the fruit begins to grow. Oh, look, there's a doggy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yep. So as you can see, it's very, very green out behind me there. Very, very green. It's really beautiful. Coming up to its peak. So it's producing from those flowers. Now we get buds and fruit. That's the next thing. Anyway, time, I suppose, is also a different perspective. Mm. Okay, see you tomorrow.